Did you know that the average American spends over $7,000 a year on stress-related health issues and that every major health problem we face as a society has strong links to stress accumulation? If you need convincing, Google symptoms of stress and see if you don't find a multitude of health issues that affect you or the people you know. Meditators have been shown to significantly reduce their instance, instances of heart disease, cancer, and transportation accidents with just a few years of practice. Meditation is a practice that helps people achieve balance mentally, physically, and emotionally. It is even used to treat depression, stress, and anxiety. Um, I'm sure all of you guys have some, some sort of problems in your life, like examples would be relationship problems, financial problems, and what better way to reduce your stress by the problems by doing a free, yeah, doing something free like meditation rather than spending money. <clears throat> Throughout my presentation, I will be previewing, previewing over a brief history over meditation and some basic techniques. Now let's travel back some time and talk about the history behind meditation. The, the roots travel back in ancient times. The sham, shamanic hunter-gatherer cultures have been using it successfully in ancient tribal times, which makes this practice 15,000 years old. The shamans use meditation while sitting around a fire to enter a state of trance by using drumming, chanting, and dancing to have what we call now call now out of body experiences. By doing this around the fire, they were bringing back to their tribes the ability to heal their ver various illnesses and blessings of the spirits. <clears throat> while, th while this is not the meditation type we are used to, it is still consider considered the starting point of meditation as it does put a person in an altered state, altered state of consci consciousness, which after it is achieved through traditional meditation, the same way. Uh, meditation started in the East. The meditation that we are mostly used to has its roots in India about 5,000 years ago. This is where they would be practicing it based on the Vedas, which are the first Indian scriptures found. Advanced forms of Vedas are Tantras, Buddhism, Yoga, which brings me to my next point about Buddha. Buddha and Buddhism meditation is the best known technique we use today. At first, B Buddha felt like something was missing in his practices. He could not find full understanding and enlightenment, so he changed his way of meditation by simply sitting underneath a tree and focusing his mind. This allowed him to enter a deep state of meditation that lasted for several, several days. When he woke up, he knew and understood the nature of existence. This is why he was called Buddha, which means the, the awakened one. Meditation in the West. Meditation did not become popular in the West until the 1960s and 1970s. <clears throat> Many college professors and scientific research, researchers began to test the effects of meditation and learn about the multitude of the benefits it brings to physical health, mental, and emotional. An example of that evidence found that genes that protect disorders like pain, high blood pressure, and arthritis were switched on. Researchers call this the relaxation effect. Now I'm going to talk about the two different kinds of meditation. There's concentration meditation and mindfulness meditation. Well, there's, there's all types of meditation, but I'm just going to talk about those two. Concentration meditation is a technique that focuses on a single point. This could entail watching a single breath, repeating a single word, word, or staring at a candle flame. This form teaches you to let go of random thoughts by refocusing your awareness on the chosen objects of attention. Your ability to concentrate will improve. And mindfulness meditation is to observe wandering thoughts as they drift through the mind. The intention is to get not too involved with your thoughts or your thoughts or to judge them, but simply to be aware of each mental note as it arises. With practice, you develop an inner balance. Over time, you become more aware of the human tendency to quickly judge experience as good, good or bad, pleasant or unpleasant. 
And uh, can everybody please close their eyes? And uh, imagine a tribe that's staring at a fire. That is where that is where uh, meditation first started. And as they're staring into the fire, they can use the form of the concentration meditation meditation technique. You can also focus on each breath as you close your eyes, and that is also the concentration meditation. And I hope the history of meditation and the two different techniques I discussed providing you with a better understanding of meditation. And that's it.